is Trump racist? Hmm. Do you want to answer this for me? Nope, this is for you. You made the claim. Back it up. No. <laughs> How is he a racist? I'm not going to answer you. Why? Because you can't or because you won't? No, because I'm pissed at you and you should leave our campus. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out anti-Trump college students can't back up claims. Okay, this is going to be amazing. I love to check this video out with you guys. You know how to do it. Let's get right into today's video. When we look at the Black Lives Matter discussion and we look at who's up for the presidency, Joe Biden or Donald Trump, who would be better to run Black America? Hmm, I'd rather choose um, a Biden over a racist pedophile. Okay. How is he racist? You f***ing kidding. Racist? <laughs> How yeah, is I'll Trump get racist? To you. I'll get to you. How is Trump racist? Hmm. Do you want to answer this for me? Nope, this is for you. You made the claim. Back it up. No. <laughs> well, you said we're. I'm an idiot. He has had multiple people be killed because he of has, brutality. He has had people be killed. Ma'am, I live in a town where there was riots. Very good. I'm glad that that's where you come from. However, who has he had killed? He has caused his police to do it. He has militiaized this country. He has militiaized this country. I can't speak English because I suck at it, but ma'am. He Don't has assume my gender. Mm -hmm. yeah, Don't, do that. Don't assume your gender? What are your pronouns then? Zay and Z and Princess. Princess? Mm -hmm. Damn. Yes. How is he a racist? I'm not going to answer you. Why? Because you can't or because you won't? No, because I'm pissed at you and you should leave our campus. Oh, no. This is a free country, right? Whose streets? My streets. Today. Yes, yeah, so this is a private campus. No, it's not. It is a public university. I just want to know how Donald Trump is racist. Because he has had his, his militia, our military, be used to protect buildings against people who have been killed multiple times. He needs to protect the buildings. Why? Why would he need to protect the buildings? For no reason, because people... For who, no reason or because they're lighting them on fire not, and they're killing police officers? Not people who are killing police officers. It's people like you who are causing them to light the buildings on fire. I, people has, like me who support the police, who is against Black Lives Matter proven. terrorist organization. I'm the one that's causing them to tear down the buildings and light them on fire. Ma'am, it has proven that people who are against the Black Lives Matter movement will go and purposely force the riots and blame it on people who are... Can you give me proof for that? There are many articles that you can look up for yourself. Give me one. Now. What was it? Well, it was in like Times or something? something that said Who did it? Who did it? It was Times, I think. 93% yeah. of what? 93% of people who are against the Black Lives Movement are would go to the riots. I'm sorry. Stop. I'm talking to her. I will gladly come to you next. 93%. She has to oh, talk. Yeah, but it's my body, my choice not to talk to you. So, 93%, 93%, just finish your point. That's it. 93%. So are you saying it's good for 7% of the riots and the, pro the protesters to be violent? You think that's a good statistic? The 7% is peaceful? You think we're supposed to wave that around as it's good? People, because they only show the people that are causing the riots to be violent. They aren't showing the peaceful riots. And she the peaceful riots. How is a riot peaceful? There are peaceful protests going around this country every day. They chose not to show them. They, they do are, show the majority them. Majority of cops are nice, so we should not abolish the cop, uh, abolish police because the majority of cops are nice, right? So we shouldn't stop protests because the majority of them are peaceful. I'm not saying to stop protests. I'm saying to stop the riots. No, but the people protesting aren't the ones doing the riots. Then, then what's, where's the difference? So I'm glad the people who are peacefully protesting, sure, if they don't want to be caught up in the riots, then leave. But when the riots specifically shout Black Lives Matter, they shout the names of drug addicts and felons and pedophiles and people who have attempted to murder people, I don't think it's a peaceful movement. I don't. When you actively assault police officers and your protests and your riots, and we can stop pretending like they're peaceful at this point. It's been over a hundred days and this has happened. You're going to go up to a, a business owner or an apartment complex owner, someone who had their lives burned down in the cities, someone who has had their business burnt to the, burnt to the ground, and you're going to say, listen, okay, yeah, this is bad. You might be poor now. You don't have anything left to show your life's work, but only 7% are violent. So most of us are good. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter apply anymore. Over a hundred days. Cops. Apply that same logic to cops. It doesn't matter anymore. So There's we need to get rid of the cops. 
I'm trying to apply your logic. You just said get rid of the protests because no, I said get rid of the riots, but we can stop pretending okay, so as the if they're all cops. peaceful. Get rid of all the bad cops. Then. Absolutely, we can get on the same point. Let's get rid of the bad cops. What's wrong with that? Absolutely, let's happening? do it. Why are you questioning the protests and not questioning the cops? You're questioning the protests more than you're questioning the cops. Because the cops are not out there burning our cities down. The cops they're not out people. there. What are you talking people. about? They're I'm sorry. Are being said they're out there killing black people. You they're know? killing black people. Hold on. Okay, so you said. Um, okay, so I've been to the Orlando protests here. Great. And uh, I stayed, and the only time they turned violent was when the police was using force against the peaceful protesters. So. Okay, so cops are killing black people. Yes. Yes. How many black unarmed men were shot in 2019? Am I? Like, do I have Google in my brain? No. I would absolutely, if you're going to say black people are being killed by a specific entity, you should give me the numbers. You can even guess. How many? Do you think it's in the thousands and the hundred thousands? Two? Remember prepared for the speech that you're giving us. We haven't Googled Well, you guys have prepared to have your opinions. I don't know where you got them. Maybe you got them from the TV. How many unarmed black men were shot in 2019? I couldn't tell you because I don't keep that. No, I just know. I see it. With if you see example, it, yeah, how many, example, how many? I see it with another example, and we even see it here. In the Florida mall, they just shot a, a 22-year-old, Salathus Melvin, in the back while he was running away. He was no threat. He was running away, and he was shot in the back. I haven't heard about that. I'd love to, I'd love to learn about that and actually look at the video, so thank you for bringing that to my attention. But I would like you to answer my question. If you think the police are out there murdering black people right. because innocent they're black racist, people. innocent black people, yes. huh? So you think Jacob Blake was innocent? Yes, what was he doing? He was reaching for a knife after what? he was at his, uh, he raped a woman, he was at her house. Uh, she called the cops because okay. a rapist was at her house. <laughs> and then he was reaching for a knife that was found on the floor of his car and he got shot because he was reaching for a knife and he was okay. resisting the cops and fighting with them. Okay. How is that innocent to reach for a knife and rape a woman? Okay, no, raping a woman is totally wrong, obviously. And um, does not, do you really, okay, the cops, here have all the power in their hands when they have a gun in their hand. Why? When they see, there's multiple examples of like white men walking around with guns. If they're, they saying they're scared of black people reaching for a weapon, a knife, how do you compare that to a gun? And then how are you gonna kill that person with, with the knife, like multiple times when you don't even like pay attention to the white man holding a gun. This is why it's so important to know the statistics about who's being targeted by police brutality. Again, I would love to know the difference between white unarmed people, men specifically, shot by the police and black unarmed men shot by the police. It's a really important statistic that I think would open your guys' mind. Can you, do you want to give a shot at maybe the differences? I would have to do, I would have to look it up myself. I don't, I'm sorry. Do you think it's in the thousands, black people being shot, black men being shot, totally innocent, unarmed? Um, I mean, when the media tells you, and we see all these videos coming out, would you say it's a high number or a low number? I would say it's a more uh, people that there needs to be dead. Like, why do you even, like, need to, like, have these instances, like, this shouldn't be happening, period. No, people should not be trying to shoot the police or trying to come at them or anything like that. But let me tell you, there were nine unarmed black men that were shot in 2019. And you laugh. Everybody I tell that statistic to, they laugh. I don't think nine unarmed people dying is funny. So I don't know why you're laughing. There were 19 white unarmed men that were shot by the police in 2019. Why then do you guys think that there is a big enough issue out there for us to go and burn our cities. I think, um, you know, people of color, specifically black people, are tired of being mistreated. By who? The police? The They're being mistreated by themselves. Their own, commun own community. You know who kills 94% of black people in this country? Black people. Okay. They're being terrorized by their own communities. Why? Okay, so... Uh, where do you find the most criminal, like the highest criminal rates? Black America. Because in poor communities, it doesn't matter if they're black, it doesn't matter if they're white. And poor community is going to find the highest criminal rates because also because like surrounding your environment, that's all you're, you're going to see. Because, yeah, I agree with you there. Okay, so whose fault is that?
the government's fault exactly. for placing these black people in these communities and handing them welfare. So they're out there. They're, have you heard of the Great Society? Right. Have you heard of that 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 bill and that? Right. right. Okay. Right. So that put more black Americans on welfare and took incentivized single True. motherhood, took the fathers out of the home. That is detrimental to the black community and shame on our governments and people we are supposed to entrust in our communities to run our country for creating such a policy that would put people specifically for their skin color down on welfare that makes them impossible for it to come out but why is that responsible so that's that's the reason why there are, there's a lot of poor black communities why then do we give them an excuse to be violent to one another we're not giving them an ex we're putting in context it doesn't mean it's it's an excuse it sounds like an excuse to me, and I don't think it is. I don't think we are we can excuse violent behavior from a demographic that commits 50 percent of the violent crime in our country and write it off as that they're they're in poor communities. I don't think that's fair. I think that we need to hold people responsible for the things that they do, including police officers. I can get right on board with you there, but I will not say that an innocent police officer should be thrown in jail just because he happened to have a victim that was black. Okay, so what do you think about the Brianna Taylor murder? So, a lot of people came out and tried to say that it, she was innocent. She was just a firefighter. She was not involved. It had nothing to do with her house. It was a no-knock raid. Guess what? All of that came out to not be true. They did knock. She was involved with the drug trafficking. Her address was on the warrant for them to go into. Really? Yes. And where are you getting all this information? This is coming out. You've never, you haven't seen this come out? Yeah, this is coming out from the police doing their investigation, from people releasing body cam footage, from people coming out with written statements. Yes, this is all coming out. And it's important, it's very important to know the situations involving things. And now, I will get behind Rand Paul's initiative to end no-knock raids. No police officer should be in entering into a home without knocking, right? Because people have the right to defend themselves against someone coming into their home that they don't know of. But I don't think that was the situation involving Breonna Taylor. And I would encourage you, if there's anything you want to give me, any information that I can leave here today about Breonna Taylor that you would like me to look more into, I'd love it. But I hope you walk away as well, maybe look into what's coming out about that case and the misconceptions around it. Is there, if there's anything you would like me to know or walk away with, so I'm open. All, you're getting all of this from the police department? So it's from the police department yeah. and also... Initially, like, uh, like, gave the report and, like, lied on the report? Yeah, so I'm not saying we should trust police entirely, but when they come out with body cam footage... They, they did? Is it out? Well, I don't, I'm not, I don't think that it, it's really to the public, but when they went through and looked at the body cam footage... No, I did not. But that's what they're going off of, and I want them to release it. Let's release it. You know, Let's do it. You know, that's what they said for the Salathus Sil Melvin murder here in Orlando. I don't know anything about that, but I would Well, like to they said yeah. that he was reaching for a gun when in the body cam video, it was, that was absolutely not true. He was running away. Yeah, let's hold those cops responsible. Absolutely. If that's the case, if that's what a jury of peers decide for him in court, absolutely, that's what he deserves. Hold him responsible. I love that. Because an innocent life may have died. But also, we can't lock up people without proving that they're guilty. Do you see what I'm saying? Because that can be used against anybody. Anybody. We have to prove that people are guilty, be able to do that. So, I appreciate you talking to me. This video is really beautiful and really an eye-opener. Because hearing this from college students and also this interviewer, she really sacrificed her time and the courage to come out to this um, campus to come make all this um to come ask all these questions and interview um some college students it really means a lot um the truth of the matter is that black lives matter we all know that and that is basically true but what is really happening in the black community may i will, I will, I will seriously blame the government the way this lady said for taking out father from the family the essential growth of family itself father have a massive role to play so taking out father out from the from the role is creating chaos so seeing what she said about fathers not being in the home and a lot of chaos are happening and black fighting each other it's true a lot of black community right now they are fighting against themselves not just whites being racist to them or police shooting the black person i do not support 
police killing an unjust man, an unjust black man to be precise. This is really, really terrible. It's not something people should joke about. But the crime rate of black communities is really high. Very high. Like, black against black committing crimes against each other is really high. And it's something we should always talk about. The people who unarmed men that the cops killed in 2019 alone was 9. Unarmed white men was 19. That itself is really, really massive. It's, it's a large number. And I know that white men are more in numbers than black people. We should not get that wrong. I think black have like 20 something percent or 30 something percent population in America. I think I think so. Or, or less than that. So we should, not, we should not get the stats wrong because this really means a lot. The way people, the media portray this police killed an armed black man, you start seeing protests coming up. And if you check the stats, you'll be like, it's kind of like funny to laugh at. But killing an unarmed black man is not something you should laugh at. It's something very, very serious and something we should put into consideration. And you, you notice that the way the media portray this actually have impact on people seeing it, the community, black community seeing it, because they will want to retaliate. It is compulsory. If it was to be like your brother or your relative that was being shot unjustly, you seriously want to retaliate. It's something, it's something that we have to put into consideration that it's not all cops that does that. And innocent police officers should not be arrested just for defending themselves and carrying out their duty. Let's put an instance that the, the guy was reaching out for a gun or a knife. Any police officer will shoot at sight. You understand? It's something that occurs a lot. I'm not saying that we don't have racist cops. I'm not saying that some cops have not killed some innocent black men unjustly. What I'm saying is that the cops that are innocent and the person is reaching out for a gun or a knife and a shot at sight should not be punished. Because a lot of innocent cops have actually gone to prison because of this. And it's something we should just put into consideration. That's why I, I really like the body cam that um, cops wear every time before before carrying, going out on duties or um, making arrests. The body cam is really, really important. It's something that we actually bring evidence. It's evidence itself. So the body cam is really important. When I ch check the stats myself about unarmed black men that was being killed by, by police officers, I was really surprised. I have checked... If, if you go make research now from 29, even to 2018 to 2024, you will see stats that if you compare it to white people, you'll be like, oh, a lot of white men have been killed. You understand? You, you, then you notice that some police are just carrying out their duties. But because a white cop, a white police officer shoots a black man, either he's being armed or not, people will want to retaliate. Because why? They feel like the police officer was being racist. This was actually an interesting video to watch. I really enjoyed the entire video. I love the guest courage. And the students who listened to her, I know some of them were actually rude. But the one who actually paid attention to listen to her own side and also learn something because that's something about conversation. You have to listen for the next person and learn something for what the next person is saying because the next person might actually have information that you yourself don't know about. Like what just happened right here. Comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe.